And what I'm going to show you now is gonna shock you. Can we see that? Her letters from her Chanel 22 bag are falling off. The H <laughs> and the E. I mean, what? This what? <laughs> Long gone are the days when we were actually able to walk into a Chanel boutique and ask to buy a classic flap or to even see a black classic flap with gold hardware. This is not gonna happen anymore. First of all guys, I just want to remind you again, please subscribe. Um, you know, it's helping us creators a lot and it doesn't cost you anything. And you know, just make sure that we are able to keep creating amazing videos for you. Yeah guys, so today, Chanel. Let me place her here, so that we have a little bit of eye candy to look at. Okay guys, so, I don't know where to begin. Um, first of all, a big thank you to Super Day Cup and Jessie from Jessie Style. They are the most amazing, the best detectives that we have. I think here in the luxury community. Um, I'm going to link their channels and their videos where they talked about this topic um, in the description box below so you can go and check it out. Okay guys, I <laughs> honestly I was shocked um, when I heard. Was I shocked though? Maybe in the first moment but then I remembered hey we're dealing with Chanel here so you know <laughs> what to expect. First thing I want to tell you, you might have heard about the new quota system from Chanel. You're only allowed to buy two Chanel classic flaps per year if you can even get your hand on this later. We're gonna talk about that later. What are classics? We have the Chanel classic flap of course and we have the 2.55 of course the reissue which was the original version of this. Um, we have the boy bag, we have the Gabrielle, we have the Coco Handle, I think belongs to the classic range by now. We have the 19, of course. We have the 22. There's a spider on the ceiling. I've just noticed that now. <laughs> it's a big spider. Okay, um, let's get back to the topic. Uh, <laughs> Two classic flaps a year. I mean, let's think about it. Why is that the case? Obviously, it's about the exclusivity. Chanel has tried to become more exclusive and be seen as a more exclusive brand for a while now. Um, they need to restrict those bags, obviously, um, so that there are not so many on the pre-loved market. Because we know like Chanel is uh, in war with the pre-loved market and with individual resellers anyway. Um, see all the lawsuits. Resellers are a huge issue but the resellers will always find a way so it's not really making sense. That's the reasons why Chanel wants to restrict classics. Let's talk about the next big thing guys and I was I was shocked. We know Chanel wants obviously to become more like MS right and what are they doing to reach that goal so all of this, by the way, that I'm saying right now is in the words of Super Day Cup, it's allegedly, allegedly, allegedly gonna happen or not gonna happen. <laughs> so, you know, um, these videos are made for entertainment purposes and yeah, just wanna put that out there. The next big change that we're going to see is you cannot just walk into a Chanel boutique anymore. And I mean, we've seen that over the past month slash maybe a year, year and a half. It is so difficult. If you go to Chanel and you say, you know, you're just walking in and you're like, hey, I would like to buy a jumbo black caviar gold hardware. They're gonna be like, oh, sorry, you know, we don't have any. Um, if you're just walking in and say, hey, I would like to have a medium large, you know, Chanel classic flap. Uh, silver, gold hardware, do you have anything available? Oh, no, excuse us, like, we don't have anything available. So obviously they have been restricting the classics for a while now, but what's happening now is you have to actually, <laughs> I can't even believe that I'm saying this, they will restrict them in the way that MS is restricting Birkins and Kellys, meaning you will have to have a previous purchase history. You will have to have, you know, achieved a certain tier in, in uh, the Chanel hierarchy. You will have to spend a certain amount of money to be able, you know, to, to, to get to that tier. Um, we are talking, so the rumors are that you are, depending on region, depending on, you know, demand, you will have to spend 10,000 to 50,000 US dollar, pound, euro, I don't know, um, to 
to be able to get at least to the lowest tier of VIP client to then be able to ask for a classic. To be able to ask, you know, to, to buy any kind of classic, especially the hard to get ones, like a timeless classic in black. It's not only that at MS, you have to obviously have a previous purchase history and there are rules, like some people say you have to spend like double, so let's say you would have to spend like 20,000 pound to be able to, you know, get offered a 10,000 pound Birkin or something like that. I mean, I know they're still a little bit under 10,000, but just the big ones, just that you know what I mean. So with Chanel, we're gonna see the same. You will have to spend a certain amount, and obviously, for example, I live in London. We can only imagine there's high demand. There is lots of, you know, people who want to buy these bags. So obviously, like, the tier will be set higher in a big capital like London, like New York, like, you know, I don't know where. And the rumors are you have to spend around 50K, you know, to be considered at least the lowest tier VIP client. So it's shocking. You know, MS is doing the same. MS, like I said, actually, like most people would probably say, you have to spend around double what the bag is worth to be maybe offered a bag. That's dependent on region as well. If I would think, like, you have to spend 50k a year to be able to get your hands on classics from the boutique, I would be like, okay, what does it mean? You have to buy ready to wear, you have to buy shoes, you have to buy everything, you know? And that's what they want. They want clients who buy fine jewelry, who buy ready to wear, who buy custom jewelry, who buy shoes, who buy other accessories, you know, they don't only want to be known as this brand, you know, that's known for bags, basically, I mean, we know that. Seasonal bags will obviously always be available and you can just walk in and, you know, ask or not. We're gonna talk about that later too. But it's, it's, that's what's gonna happen, basically. Classics, especially in like colors like black, not gonna happen anymore. I mean, if we go to like a small town in Germany, let's say, and uh, there are way less people interested in buying Chanel bags, the demand is a lot lower, so maybe you only have to spend like 10K there to be able to be offered a classic again, but like I said, in a, in a city where you have so much demand, I'm pretty sure the level will be set higher. <laughs> the third point, let's say you go into Chanel Boutique. And let's imagine this is not a classic, but a seasonal piece, okay? I think it's like a maybe pink, pink boy bag, <laughs> you know? And you walk around and you're like, okay, cool. Oh, I would like to buy this bag. Can I buy this? And they're gonna be like, yeah, yeah. But for me to, the, the SA would say that, but for me to be able to offer you this bag that you want to buy, how about we have a look at like other pieces as well? Do you want to look at shoes? Do you want to look at custom jewelry? Do you want to have a look at gloves? Whatever. <laughs> because there are rumors slowly emerging that there will be a rule of two items per transaction. So you want to buy something, you're interested in that bag. Oh, for Chanel to be able to offer you that bag that you want to buy. Rather, like, we'd rather have you spend some more money on some other crap that you really don't want. So I was like, honestly, I mean, <laughs> we are, this is getting worse than playing the MS game if allegedly, you know, all of these things are becoming reality. And I'm like thinking, okay, obviously we know Chanel is not MS in terms of quality. How can they do that? The demand obviously is there that people will play those games, which is crazy if you ask me. And guys, I was seeing two examples where I was like literally rolling, laughing and rolling out of my bed <laughs> because I could not believe what I was seeing. You guys know I want to buy the Chanel 22 bag and I have my eye and I have put an order in actually for a bag from the Métis d'Art collection. I still love the idea of the Chanel 22 bag and I hope it's going to happen. But when I saw this, and you're gonna be shocked guys, so this is, by the way, video courtesy to Diamonds in Dubai. Uh, she posted this um, on her Instagram. And what I'm going to show you now is gonna shock you. Can we see that? Her letters from her Chanel 22 bag are falling off. The H <laughs> and the E. I mean, what? This, what? <laughs> you know, this just happened. The bags have just been released, guys. And this is the quality we're dealing with. 
And these are the new rules that are, you know, being put into place now. And I'm like, are we all really this dumb? Is that why Chanel can get away with it? Because we just don't care. We buy the, I can't say it, like the, the, the worst quality pieces and we pay thousands and thousands and thousands of pound, dollar, euro on it and we just accept it. And we accept those rules to be treated this way. Is this a luxury? No, it's not right. And then also, guys, um, credit to uh, Iksaki Zaki. She has a YouTube account as well. I'm gonna link her video and her account in the description box below as well. So what happened, basically? She bought the Chanel... There you can see her account. She, the, she bought the Chanel hardback. And the strap fell off. Basically, what was attached to the back. And I'm like, this can't, like... Can we see that? I'm like, this can't be true, guys. What is happening? What is happening? I mean, you know, this is getting worse and worse to what we've seen in the past even. I was quite shocked. Let me know what you think about all of this. Please tell me all your recent bad experiences with Chanel, no matter if it's customer service, no matter if it's quality issues, let's talk about this because, you know, we need to get the word out there. Share this video, <laughs> that's always helping as well. Last but not least, what I also want to talk about is um, pricing because the Chanel Classic Flap in the medium size, um, medium large, this one, mine is obviously a vintage beauty. Oh, love her so much, look at how beautiful the lambskin is how durable the lambskin was in the past in comparison to what we see nowadays. So this baby, um, retail price, new in store now, if you would want to buy this exact bag in this size, it is 8,250 euro. A Birkin 25 or a Kelly 25 costs 7,400 euro. Therefore, we have finally, uh, Chanel has finally become more expensive than MS if we're talking retail. Chanel bags are still machine made, machine stitched. MS bags are handmade, everything is hand stitched. MS provides a lifelong uh, spa treatment. Chanel does not, only for their classic flaps. However, if I would send this one to the Chanel spa now, they would take all the hardware off and replace it with the modern hardware. That would be like a knife in my heart, if I'm honest, because this is the real 24K gold-plated hardware. And, uh, you know, Jacob said it properly in his video, that's not fixing a bag, that is ruining a bag. So, um, I'm speechless, you know, how can this bag now cost more than a Birkin or Kelly 25? Just saying. Let me know what you think. Yeah, I think, guys, that was everything. I mean, that's big news, right? If we if we think about all those new rules, please let me know what you think about them. Do you still want to buy something before all these rules allegedly fall into place, um, allegedly are enforced? Do you still want to buy classics? Um, do you still want to get your hand on something? Yeah, let me know. Okay, guys, so that was it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, share this video. Like, subscribe, please. It's really helping us content creators. And um, yeah, I think that's it. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, join our little handbag obsessed family here because we all do have the same, yes, luxury disease. And I see you again very, very soon, guys. Bye.